everybody and I have another update on my current whips and a new start so very exciting um, I'll just hop right in <laughs> so the first thing I did was I started a third Hade because why not um, and so I started and it's funny because I have two big projects going on and I thought well I can't really have a third big project although Maybe I could, but I started looking at the story keeps because I saw um, someone who had chosen a story keep and it, I thought, you know, they all look pretty neat. So I actually am stitching the wedding kiss, which is like a, from a still, from an Outlander episode uh, from season one. And so this is what it will look like when it is finished. And this is what it looks like now. So this is stitched on 32 count linen. It's one over one full cross. And when I started this project, I said, I, I'm going to use um, fabric that I already have. I'm not ordering anything special. And so I, like, I really like doing two over one tent stitch on 28 count, but I decided that I would use the 32 count and I actually did some test stitching off to the side. I still have to take some of it out and the one over one full cross looked the best and gave the best coverage. So this is page one and ultimately on this size it isn't going to even be five inches across and it will be something like 15 inches long. So it's fairly long but um, it's very narrow. So. This is the width of page one, and then there's page two, and then like a little bit over here. Um, but anyway, so you can see this is just background, and then this is the top of um, Jamie's auburn hair. So with this one as well, I ordered the PDF pattern, and I'm using Good Reader. It's working out lovely. I, um, I stitch pretty quickly. I keep track of my stitches, and it hasn't been a problem at all. And so that's been really nice to work on um, so far. Another hate I've been working on the Treasure Hunt bookshelf. And so this is what it'll look like when it's done. And this is what it looked like last time you saw it. And this is what it looks like now. So I have finished um, a third page over here and I decided to go down and work on this page down here and actually so this the book plus the um, kind of leaves that are in front of it it's really confetti heavy it's kind of kind of a pain but um, you know it'll look nice in the end and then here's a book and then this is just kind of dark blue background in the bottom of the tree I think so this is what I've been working on. Um, and I found myself in a situation with lots of parked threads. So I ended up kind of um, just taking each parked thread and just working as many stitches as I could find and then just, you know, ending, ending the thread so I could kind of reduce the numbers of threads. And um, so yeah, so this is really, this is coming along really nicely. And again, I'm using the PDF pattern and Good Reader and I'm really, I'm really liking it. Um, the clouds were <laughs> the clouds were actually really nice to stitch because um, there are fewer main colors. There is some color blocking here, so I can I found that I stitched very very quickly on these. The shapes or the shading between the books is also just a couple of colors, so that stitches up really quickly. So these pages were relatively sort of fast, although the tree was like I said in a previous video, the tree was a little bit of a beast. And so I haven't gotten a lot of it done. Um, let me show you. This is what it will look like when it's done. This is what it looked like last time you saw it. And this is what it looks like now. So basically, I've, I took the base color, this tan base color in the fish, and I have stitched, finished the stitching. So this is one over one, well, the 
the fish in the fish pond are one over one full cross on 28 count. And then um, the whole piece has two over two and one over one stitching as well as a ton of beads and specialty stitches and, and everything else. So anyway, I've made a little bit of progress on that. So I'll also show you my progress on Lady Hera by Mirabilia. This is what it should look like when it's finished. And this is what it looked like last time you saw it. So here is the progress that I made on Lady Hera by Mirabilia. And my, my big goal was to get the peacock um, done, or at least the part that's on the first page, or rather the front side of the pattern for Mir Mirabilia. So at this point, with the exception of just a few beads and some back stitching and a couple of stitches here, I am pretty much done with the front part of the pattern. Now, of course, this peacock goes all the way down and has tons of stitches in the tail. The dress, there's a lot more to the dress and there's a little bit more to um, the curtain, but it does go all the way down. So this piece does have quite a lot of stitching in it, but it's great. Um, I think the peacock is really beautiful. It, it turned out it turned out really nice. Um, I This treasure, I lost it. And um, so I've ordered it and just, and just gotten it in. So hopefully I can fill that in and then kind of call that, that section done. But anyway, this is, this is my progress so far. So thank you so much for watching and I'll be back in a week or so, a week and a half with another whip update and hopefully I'll have made more progress and hopefully I will um, have received everything and I'll have a lot to show you. So thank you so much.